Ticks suck. <laughs> I guess they actually do. <clears throat> what we're gonna talk about today is how to prevent ticks from getting their nasty little hook mouths into your skin. It's simple, effective, inexpensive, and can literally stop ticks in their tracks. Let's get into it. What's up, Dirt Junkies? My name is Jeff, and I love spending time on the trails, but I hate ticks. What I'm going to share with you in this video is the one-two punch that I use against ticks that has proven to be super effective and makes it possible for me to enjoy the trails even during peak tick season. And stick around to the end when I'll share five bonus tips. Come with me to the garage where I will show you the first piece of the one-two punch against ticks. The first one is permethrin. And the reason we're in the garage is because I'm gonna show you how to mix your own with this. But before we do that, let me tell you a little bit about this awesome product in case you have not heard of it. It is amazing at stopping ticks and mosquitoes. It's essentially an insecticide that you can treat your clothing or gear with before going on trail that will literally stop ticks in their tracks. And the great thing is you don't have to do it every time you go out on trail. One treatment will last about four to six weeks or even four to six washes through your laundry. So you can do it once at the beginning of the season, maybe once again in the middle, and that might be enough to get you through tick season. Now, when you buy permethrin, you can get it pre-mixed like this bottle of Sawyer permethrin, which is 24 ounces of permethrin, or you can actually buy a more concentrated version, permethrin 10. This is from Martin's. And this is 16 ounces, but you can use this to mix your own by mixing one ounce of this with just 19 ounces of water. This bottle of pre-mixed ready to use costs about 15 to $18 on Amazon. This cost about $20, but I can make 16 16 ounce bottles out of this. So you get a lot more value for your money this way. If you have a lot of clothing or gear to treat, I definitely recommend doing this and I'll show you how really quick. On this bottle, you see it's got this little section up here. You can actually squeeze some of this permethrin up into this area until you get it up to the one ounce line. Then you dump this into a spray bottle and then just add 19 ounces of water. The spray bottle has a mark at 20 ounces. So we'll just put in one ounce of permethrin 10 and then fill it up with water until we get to the 20 ounce mark. And there you go. You've got 20 ounces of permethrin ready to use. All right, we've got our permethrin 10 mixed to the right ratio. So now we're gonna go and apply it. I will put links to both of these things down in the description below. Both work fantastic. It just depends on how much gear you wanna use and whether you wanna take a little bit of time so that you can get a little more value. Next thing you wanna do is hang up all of your clothing and gear that you want to treat outside and the reason you want to be outside is because that before it dries permethrin is actually toxic to people and domestic animals so you want to keep this away from places where you or your pets might frequent and give it plenty of room to dry since it can take a couple of hours you'll also notice i've got gloves on and a mask right here you want to be very careful when you're applying it there's a tick right here on my computer screen holy crap Whew, this is why we're doing this You'll also notice I've got a lot of different gear items up here. Shirts for sure, my pants. I also like to do my socks and even my hats. You should not treat your underwear. You don't wanna be marinating in this stuff. <laughs> but basically anything else that I'm gonna wear on trail, even my shoes. We'll talk about the gear in a second. For now, I'm gonna treat this stuff and then we'll come back. One thing you'll notice is that I'm definitely focusing on what I call entry points. So the tops of your socks, the cuff of your shirt, the collar of your shirt, the waist of your shirt and especially your pants, the cuffs of your pants, those are all areas where ticks can get in and find something that's not treated with permethrin and so you really want to focus on those areas so that you prevent ticks from getting in under your clothing. All right, so we've treated all the clothing. This bottle treated these clothes that I have hanging up as well as my mountain biking clothes one time. So that's about how much you'll get out of one of these bottles. Now let's move on to the gear. So over here, you'll see that I've got my packs as well as some stuff sacks for some of my tents. I like to treat anything that might be on the outside of my pack because that's going to be brushing up against branches, twigs, grasses as well. So let's get the permethrin 10 that we mix and then we'll spray these things and when you treat these packs something to be careful of is you want to make sure that you get all of this area down here underneath the shoulder straps behind the waist belt and if you're using a frameless pack or a framed pack with a sit pad I recommend taking the sit pad out and getting that back panel really really well and then treating your sit pad as well basically you want to make sure that no matter what brushes up against these ticks it is sprayed with permethrin and the ticks will die that's what we want since we like to relax in this in camp and sometimes i don't take the stuff sack with me good idea to spray your chair as well and although some people will say it's overboard i actually like to treat my tent as well i'll treat the outside now let's open the door i'll show you how i treat the inner mesh I like to get in my tent, close this up, 
What I'll do is spray from the inside to out, and that's how I treat the mesh on my tents. All right, we've got all of our gear and clothing treated. Now we're just gonna give it two to four hours to dry. Whew. Okay, so that is how you use permethrin to treat your clothing and gear to literally stop ticks in their tracks if they try to hitch a ride on your properly treated clothing or gear. But what about your exposed skin? That is where the two of the one-two punch comes in, picaridin. Picaridin is just as effective as DEET at repelling insects, including ticks and mosquitoes, without the negative side effects. You can get it in lotion, spray, and wipes, but my go-to has been picaridin lotion from Sawyer. In fact, I recently purchased a 32-ounce pump bottle because I hit the trails so often and it just makes it so easy to apply. In our house, we like to keep some right here in the mudroom so that it's quick and easy to put some on before a hike, trail run, mountain biking ride, or any other trail session. So put some right here by the door and then you'll remember to put it on before you leave. It's also not a bad idea to put a bottle in your car so that even if you forget to apply it at home, you can do it at the trailhead before you head out. Based on the bottle, it will repel mosquitoes and ticks for up to 14 hours and biting flies and chiggers for eight hours. So no matter what you're doing on the trails that day, one treatment before you hit the trail should be enough. If you're going on a multi-day trip, the size of this bottle makes it really easy to take some with you or you can potentially look into the wipes or other Picaridin options. I'll put a link to this little four ounce bottle as well as the larger bottle with the pump in the description below. Let's head to the mudroom where I will show you how I apply Picaridin lotion before I hit the trails. So when I'm putting it on, I just put a little bit in my hand and then I put it on any of my exposed skin, but with special attention to those entry points. Right here underneath my sleeve, in fact, a couple inches underneath my sleeve, I'll make sure I get good coverage under my watch and then also my neck, ears, face, as well as my ankles. Although I won't show you, if I'm going into a particularly brushy area, I'll even put a couple inch band around my waist of Picaridin lotion so that, again, that entry point is taken care of. So there is the two of the one-two punch to fight against ticks and even mosquitoes. Between the permethrin on your gear and clothing and the Picaridin lotion on your exposed skin, ticks don't stand a chance. But let's talk about a few additional tips to really go the extra mile in preventing ticks and enjoying the trails even during tick season. Tip number one is tuck in to prevent ticks. That means tucking the cuffs of your pants into your socks. I'll also tuck in my shirt into my pants. It might not be exactly stylish, but it will prevent ticks and grandpa <laughs> would be proud. Second, remember that ticks are opportunistic hitchhikers. They don't fly. What they do is they find long grass or branches and then sit there and wait with their two arms stretched out waiting for an unsuspecting victim to walk past so they can grab on, hitch a ride, and look for blood. So the best thing to do is stick to the middle of the trail and avoid areas with long, tall grasses or branches sticking out into the trails. The third is to wear long and light clothing. The clothing I prefer to wear during tick season are my tan hiking pants and then a very light gray sun hoodie. The light clothing makes it easy to spot ticks if they're crawling across it, and the long clothing means that they have a harder time getting to your skin. And tip number four, if you're on a multi-day backpacking trip or even during longer day hikes, check regularly for ticks, especially after you go through an area that has a higher probability of ticks. And you want to focus on warm, moist areas armpits, hairline, your crotch, and without going into too much detail, I've found that selfie mode on my camera can be very helpful for checking those, shall we say, hard to reach areas. Just make sure you don't accidentally take a picture. Oh. Be bad. And tip number five is to always make sure you take some fine tip tweezers with you on the trails. I put a set in each of my first aid kits. This is a great set of three tweezers that you can get off of Amazon. I'll include a link to this in the description below as well. As I said, I put one pair in each of my first aid kits. If you'd like to know more about putting together your own first aid kit for backpacking or hiking, I'll put links to those videos right over here. And remember, life is better with some dirt in it.